We begin with the latest from the Russia-Ukraine war. Russia says it has thwarted yet another attack on the Kerch Bridge, which links Crimean Peninsula to the Russian mainland. It says its forces have destroyed unmanned Ukrainian boat being used in an attempt to attack. Russia's defense ministry says Kyiv launched a terrorist strike with a half-loaded unmanned boat and that the boat was spotted and destroyed in time off the Black Sea coast. Ukraine has not commented on the latest attack, but it has claimed responsibility for early attacks on the strategic bridge. The bridge was made after Russia annexed Crimea in 2014. Prior to this, there was no other direct link between Crimea and Russia. It is a 12-mile bridge, which includes a separate roadway and railway. It holds great symbolic importance for the Kremlin. Since the war in Ukraine started, the bridge has been subject to multiple attacks. Ukraine's counteroffensive seems to have gained much more pace. Ukraine also claims to have attacked Russia's Peskov airport in the northwestern region. It says that several transport planes were damaged in the attack, which it says was carried out from Russia's territory itself. The airport is some 700 kilometers away from Ukraine. Kremlin has declined to corroborate this. However, it says it is working to prevent such situations in the future. Not just this, Ukraine says it has broken through Russia's first line of defenses in several places. It says its troops are advancing in the Saporizhia region. Even Washington said on Friday that Kyiv had made notable progress on the southern front in the last 72 hours. Ukraine also launched a drone attack in western Russia, which is home to one of the country's biggest nuclear power stations. No damage has been reported in this attack. Now, while all this happened, Russian President Vladimir Putin said that the country was invincible. This is when he met Russian school children during the start of the year. Я понял, почему мы победили в Великой Отечественной войне. Но победить победить такой народ с таким настроем невозможно. Мы абсолютно были непобедимы. И сейчас таким являемся. Putin also made a surprise visit to a Russian village he has ancestral ties with. He went there to see places associated with his family, dozens of villagers gathered to see him. They expressed their enthusiasm after meeting their president. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.